State visits are all about the show. Diplomatic displays reforging old friendships. In Nairobi, a warm welcome from President Ruto. But accompanying the king's arrival calls for him to confront Britain's colonial past. And addressing a state banquet, this was his response. The wrongdoings of the past are a cause of the greatest sorrow and the deepest regret. There were abhorrent and unjustifiable acts of violence committed against Kenyans. Strong words, but stopping short of the apology many wanted to hear. This tour is already highlighting one of the king's hardest challenges, how to address historic wrongs from colonial rule. The king knows Kenya's history, touring a museum, dark reminders of the Mau Mau rebellion, Kenya's uprising against British rule. 90,000 Mau Mau fighters were killed or tortured. Kenya gained independence in 1963, this sacred fig tree planted where the country's flag first flew. Relations remained strong, but ask Kenyans about the king and views are varied. For us to, to have uh, the third queen in Kenya is a very wonderful thing. And we know it will benefit as Kenya. Britain colonized Kenya, so we are part of Britain. We have our heroes who fought for our independence. So we'd like the king to raise the issue of compensation. It is the king's first visit to a Commonwealth country. Your Majesty, let us try. <laughs> a chance to listen and learn. The politicians want to talk about the future, but many people want the past properly acknowledged. Laura Bundock, Sky News, Nairobi.